right, today we are going to do a full menu review, and I'm not talking about the ones that are above the cabinet, <laughs> which happen to be from one of the nicest restaurants in Detroit, the Whitney, the David Whitney Mansion. Hi, that's my neighbor's house. Uh, that is at the top of the coach insignia. This is from Del Mar, Del Mar, Del Mar, California. That was taken from a hotel at the Westin. And these are just random. Um... Yeah, I don't know if you know anything about me, but I love, I love menus. And I have a fetish for menus. Look at how cute that is. Like, if you can walk out of a restaurant with a menu in your, up your, you win. Mojito. So, mojito. The traditional mojito sucks, just an FYI. I'll make this quick because I know you all have ADD, HD, non alcohol. Oh, hell no. Cheeseburger in paradise. Okay, my favorite menu. Let's not let's not get all let's not get excited. My favorite menu. Oh boy. Is this one? This one was so easy to so easy to take. It was so simple. The hardest menu for me to take. The hardest menu for me to take was this this copper one. You try to walk out of Detroit coach insignia on the 74th floor with that f menu in your up your boyfriend's uh yeah that was fun what are we doing here da, 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 blah, blah. this place is closed i'll give you french dip all right that was a fun restaurant yeah, we were there once this doesn't even constitute as a menu <laughs> I mean, look. Pinot Grigio. Yeah. This is Edison's, yeah. This is in Birmingham, Michigan. Yeah. $10 for a cheeseburger. And this was like 10 years ago. Uh, next up, the Roma Cafe. Ryapel Street in Detroit. <laughs> Closed. <laughs> And what wasn't on the menu, you can get it. You could get it. Anything you freaking asked for, they would bring it to your table. We knew them. We know them. We know them. Next up. <laughs> Where's this menu from? Oh. oh, boy. Where is this menu from? Greek vegetarian sauces. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't recall where this menu is from, but definitely a Greek restaurant. Oh, God. I'll take those grape leaves off your fuck. Did I say that out loud? All right. So that must be somewhere in Detroit. Because I don't venture out much. Next up, Mr. Paul's Chop House. <laughs> These people will make you anything that's not even on the menu. They'll do whatever you want them to do. Trust me. I know the owners of this restaurant. Any, It's a family-owned restaurant. They will do whatever you... Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Anyway, they will do, they will make you whatever. This is a family owned restaurant. It's been around for a hundred. I've been going here since I was nine years old. They will make you whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then some. Well, the tornadoes, the tornadoes, Henry. 
are very, um, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what's really good on this menu. And Michigan Garden Salad, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, um, the, the, um, where am I? Uh, half duck line. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, the raw, the raw, the, okay, the oysters Rockefeller. Yeah, shut up. Um, no. Always get the Caesar salad made by Tableside when you go to this restaurant. And if I were you, I would do the... I have an issue. No. Where is it? Sticks and chops. No. No, not the rack of lamb. No. Uh, the Bernays Bordelais. No. The Saunders Detroit Hot Fudge Cream Puff for $10. Uh, no. Where, where is the mother? It's not on the menu. It's called, um, the Veal Oscar. So where's the Veal Oscar? Favorites. See, the Veal Oscar is not on the menu. King Crab Legs, yeah, yeah. Lake Perch, Michigan Lake Perch, blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Anyway, when you go here, you get the veal Oscar, Oscar and you get the Caesar salad made table side. That's all, you need. That's all you need to know. Okay, next up. We already went through this one. Oh, God. So this is... um. <laughs> This is um, Alexander's, Alexander Zanjek's uh, restaurant here in Detroit, which is no longer here. It's also closed. <laughs> and this is just wine menu, basically. This is uh, 45 minutes for creme brulee. 45 minutes for creme brulee at this restaurant. Andiamo's bought them out. Boop, huge company. Here in Detroit, it's just a huge bunch, huge, huge bunch of people that got into a huge fight over a restaurant and they all left each other and now they're back making love to each other. Next up, we have more menus. Oh, shit. Cha -cha -cha -cha. So this menu is from another place. It's called a family owned restaurant. Peace. Our mailing address is the following. St. Augustine? Jeez. <laughs> Zupa. I think some of your Zupa. And I'll take some of your reg, a reg, spin, ar, arugula, arugula salad. <laughs> oh, teeny martini. Hey, I don't know anything about this place. Now let's look at the menu, shall we? Key lime, vanilla vodka, Godiva white, and okay, 15 bucks. Apple teeny, heartless. I'm going to just go with the classic English martini. I mean, anything that's on the top of the menu comes first. Oh, we have a backside. Hmm, that's what she said. Sailor's punch. Creme de banana. Pineapple. Orange juice with a splash of grenadine and a rum floater. You know, I'm going to go with that one. Hey, shit. What else do we have here? Nero's Waterfront, oh gee. $15 for chicken tenders. Mm. Consuming raw. 
tuna salad. Speaking of consuming raw. If I would prefer heartless pasta brava from the garden, 70s. I'll give you a Spanish Caesar baby wedge. I'm a rock and roll. This menu has multiple sides to it. No, it doesn't. What else do we have here? Oh no! How can it possibly be? <laughs> Summer 5th. Yeah. Alright, next up. Oh, there's a note in here. Oh shit. Isn't this the same menu that we just looked at? <laughs> Wait, did I, am I losing my mind? No. Ham and Swiss, okay, I'll, I'll do the black, I'll do the ham and Swiss. Um, I don't like bacon, I have an issue with bacon. Cranberry turkey, <gasps> ooh, sliced, Turkey breast, Granny Smith apples, lettuce, tomato, cranberry aioli, served toast. Yeah, I don't like bread, so that's not going to work for me. I don't like bread. Uh, I have an issue with bread. Sesame shrimp. All right, I'll do that. Fuck it. And then I think we're done. No, we're not. It just keeps going on. Holy shit. Consumer warning. If you have any allergies, please leave now. <laughs> Skirt. Uh, Picada. Sun dried tomatoes. Sun dried chicken. There's some reason I'm going to butter chardonnay. Mmm. Now, if you want chicken, it's going to be $24. If you want veal, it's going to be a little bit more. Personally, I don't mean to be rude, but I'll do with the veal. Uh, seafood risotto. Sure. If you cook risotto correctly. Risotto takes... 32 minutes to cook properly. I miss your bitch. Rigatoni. I better shut up. Yeah, rack of lamb, Genghis Khan. You know, we have the best rack of lamb here in Detroit. Unfortunately, um, that place closed. It was a family owned restaurant. Very Jewish. Not that it matters. Cacciatore. All right. I think we're done here. I'm going to put the note back. This concludes my my menu. I met you. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. What are we doing here? Ah, uh, you don't know. It's thirteen minutes. I don't know. I'm telling you, Mike's chicken Caesar salad, fifteen bucks. Yo, bro, I can make a chicken Caesar salad less than that. <laughs> And it will be more healthy. Bottled water, four dollars. Okay, seventeen. Cucumber teeny. I'm still interested in this. Open daily from eight a.m. or when we ever show up. Bikini martini, vanilla vodka, coconut rum, and pineapple juice. That's basically just all sugar, so that won't work. This concludes the menus. <clears throat> Family owned and operated. <laughs>